In the midst of spring break, we're asking Vancouverites what they're reading. Here's what they had to say. Gary Snyder, some poetry of Gary Snyder. Some uh, Robert Heinlein, just some science fiction here. And then some more Arthur C. Clarke science fiction. That's about it. It's a very solitary thing. I like being solitary. And I also like being in other people's worlds and seeing how other people think. Like, especially say like H.G. Wells, right? H.G. Wells, 1890, whatever he wrote. And he basically predicted a lot of things like cell phones and all, all this stuff, right? How does he know that stuff, right? Yeah. So the themes and things like that. And like a lot of people have, you know, like, especially science fiction, it's like, it's all coming to pass now, right? By the five, I think it's Michael Asinger. Okay, and what do you like about it? It's a shift in your mindset, your perspective. You gotta read it. So the magazines from the uh, library, you see, they are very informative. I'm honestly not much of a reader, to be honest. But when I was a kid, uh, my favorite book was The Diary of a Wimpy Kid. And like, I there was like six of them, and I read all of them. I love a book club, yeah but I don't always read the books. <laughs> it's hard to keep up with it. The last one was Dewar, um, Cloud something or other, and that was very fascinating. Louise Penny I just loved. Do you love reading? Oh yeah, usually you read nonfiction. I'm reading 12 Trees by Dan Lewis. It's incredible about how to save the earth through these trees, um, but these are my distraction novels. Honestly, I am reading my Bible and it's the best book ever. <laughs> There's no other reason to read anything else. Psychology of Money, small book. So I started reading it a month ago. Uh, after three chapters, I left the book in my airplane when I was flying in the airplane. So I got another copy because I really like it. I don't know the name in English. Oh, you have it in your bag. Yeah. Kundera. Tracy West, Dragon Masters. Perfect for six to eight and my granddaughter is an avid reader of eight and uh, yeah she she loves books <laughs>